What's going on everybody? Jonathan here with Office Skills. We've helped over 200,000 people become more productive at work. And today we're going to be looking at the top templates in Excel that you can use to streamline your business processes. The first template we're going to take a look at is a business financial plan for a startup. So let's search business plan on the new tab within backstage of Excel. And we have a few different templates pop up. A couple are checklists, but we want to use this business financial plan right here. So if we click create, Excel is going to pull up that workbook for us. The first sheet in this workbook tells us a little bit about the template. And the next sheet's going to give us an overview. So we can see that we're going to get projected startup costs and projected profit and loss modeling for our potential business. So anytime we think about starting a business, it's imperative that we have a financial plan. So let's start with the startup costs template. As you can see, we have the different cost items from advertising to postage for a hypothetical coffee shop, but we could change this to any type of business that we like. And Excel has filled in some examples for us. So we can see what those startup costs might look like for a hypothetical coffee shop. We also have a PL sheet included where we can break down revenue and expenses into subcategories on a monthly basis. And once again, Excel has given us examples of these figures so we can work off of the figures that they've given us and then plug in our own values for what we think our business is going to do based on comparables out there. Let's not forget about the awesome pre-built Gantt chart templates that Excel has provided for us. So under new templates, we've searched Gantt and as we can see, there's about six different templates that Excel has provided for us. Let's go with this first one here. And in this template, Excel gives us a project planner using a Gantt chart. This is going to be incredibly helpful to visualize the plan and scheduling for our project. The different activities within this project are going to display based upon the period that they're supposed to start in. So we have our earliest activities within the project up here at the top of the chart. And then as we scroll down, we see these activities that we're supposed to be starting later. And it looks like we're already 50% complete with activity 26, which is way ahead of schedule. Next up, we have a general ledger with budget comparison for actual expenses versus those that we budgeted for. And this is going to be super useful for anyone in the accounting department. And this workbook comes with four different worksheets. The first worksheet displays the actual versus the budget of what our expenses turned out to be for the year. And it has some nice visuals here with conditional formatting to show us where the biggest portions of our budgets lie, charitables being the largest. And this sheet here at the end actually shows us a breakdown of our charitables because every good budget should involve giving back to our community. If we want to take a further look, we can look at monthly expenses summary. And we have some nice filters here to filter by each specific expense so that we don't have to sort through a large list of our different expenses. This can come in handy when we're giving a report to management to show them what each of our expenses look like over a monthly period. Oftentimes we'll want to project our sales out into the future to get an idea of what this forecast looks like. For that, we can use the sales forecast tracker template in Excel. This template's going to help us build out a sales forecast based upon the opportunities that we currently have in our pipeline, the forecasted sales amount for those opportunities, multiplied by the probability that we will complete that sale. And we're measuring that probability of sale based upon the sales phase that we're currently in and what percentage of past opportunities within that phase have reached completion. So once we've filled in all of this data, we'll get a weighted forecast for each opportunity. And that's then plugged into a sales forecast table for each month and a chart down here that illustrates our monthly forecast into the future. Now this looks interesting. It looks like we are projecting to see some very steady growth into the next year for our sales. This should really help management gain some clarity on the big picture of our sales going into the next year. Let's take a look at the website budget template and we could certainly tweak this for different types of projects. For example, if we were looking at building out an app, we could also use 
this workbook for that type of project as well. And within this workbook, we have a start worksheet that explains a little bit about the template. And then we have our budget tool sheet, which is going to be very powerful. We can take a look at the initial investment in the website between the hardware, software, and development, and then the benefits that we expect to see from the website over the upcoming years weighed against the costs, excluding that initial capital investment that we expect to see over the next three years associated with this website. And when we factor all of this together, we can come up with some very interesting metrics for this project, determining whether or not it's actually going to add value to the organization. And what we have with these metrics are a net present value of the project, an internal rate of return, what return we're going to get on that investment that we put into this website project, and the payback period. So how long is it going to take us to recoup that investment after the website starts saving us costs throughout the years? And having a snapshot of all of these different metrics is going to be extremely useful for management when they're deciding whether or not to move forward with a project like this. When running a small business, it's incredibly important to keep track of our monthly cash flow, to know how much money we have in the bank, how much we have available to pay upcoming bills, and how much we have to invest in new business directives. So using a small business cash flow template is going to be very handy, and Excel has a great one for us to test out. The first sheet in this template is the cash flow forecast, and we can track everything from cash receipts, our sales to owner contributions. And then as we scroll down, we have the cash paid out. So that's advertising, mortgage interest, rent or lease. And when we add all of these up, we can get a better picture of how much cash we have on hand at the end of every month. And to illustrate this, Excel provides a sheet with a cash flow chart. We have a simple table here on the left with our monthly cash on hand. And that is illustrated in a chart here on the right. And as we can see, our cash on hand dipped in June and July. That was a scary time for us. If any unexpected expenses were to have come up, we may have had to take out a high interest loan in order to get through that time. But fortunately, we bounced back with those cash on hand balances looking really strong throughout the rest of the year, putting us in a great position to expand our business. And that wraps it up for the top six templates that come for free built in with Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Microsoft Office and PC updates.